In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving polynomial equations with the Casio calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, I guarantee you that you will be able to solve problems involving polynomial equations with the Casio FPS CD50 calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. So, ensure you stay with me till the very end of this video. Okay? If you notice closely, you will see that we have five questions here to practice with. Alright, we're going to solve simultaneous polynomial equations or system of equations involving four variables. We will also solve simultaneous polynomial equations involving three variables. We also solve system of equations involving two variables. We also solve quadratic polynomial equation and also lastly we solve cubic polynomial equation. Alright, so this video is loaded guys. Having known this, let's get a Casio calculator now and go into the details of this video. Okay, so this is Casio FSCG50 calculator now. The very first thing you have to do will be to reset the calculator. The sense of doing this is to wipe out whatever previous value you might have stored on the calculator. So to quickly reset it or to clear it, all you have to do is to navigate to system using this navigation button. So when you get here, you press execute. Execute for this calculator stands for equal to. You press it. Okay, so when you get here, press F6 for. So you press F5 for reset. So this F5 first. Then press F6 for next page. Then when you get here, you press F2 to initialize all. Okay, then press F1. And it will begin to initialize or as indicated here. Okay, let's wait for it to finish initializing all. Alright, we're going to solve these polynomial equations with this Casio calculator. Is done. Press exit. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do will be to put our calculator in equation mode. Alright, so to do that, you navigate to equation. This is equation. Okay. Now I press execute. Alright. Now when you get here, let's begin with question one. So question one is quadratic polynomial equation. So let's go to F2 polynomial. Then press F2. Now we want to solve quadratic polynomial equation. Now in algebra, we have various kinds of polynomials. We have quadratic polynomial. We have cubic polynomial, we have quartic polynomial, quintic polynomial, and the rest of them. Alright? Now, a polynomial with two as the highest degree is known as quadratic polynomial equation. Okay, whereas a polynomial with three as the highest degree is known as a cubic polynomial equation. A polynomial with four as the highest degree is known as a quartic polynomial equation. Whereas a polynomial with 5 as the highest degree is known as a quintic polynomial equation. Now, since this question 1 has 2 as the highest degree, that means this is a quadratic polynomial equation. So we're going to go for 2, this degree, 2 as the degree, then press F1 for it. Now, so let's impute the values here A, B, and C. Now, for this question 1, in quadratic equation, we label the various terms A, B, and C respectively. Alright, so here in this 3 S square, which is our A, the coefficient of S square here is 3. So that's what we're going to impute under this A, B, and C, the respective coefficients. So the coefficient of 3 S square here is what 3. Coefficient is simply a number behind a variable or an unknown. Alright, so 3 is the number behind this variable x square all right so you impute three right here okay press the all right now the coefficient of 5x here which is our our 5x is the b so the coefficient of 5x here is worth five that's something as that all right you press the quotes whereas the constant which is our c is minus 2 so you enter minus 2 here and that's all uh, let's press is equal now to 
get our roots of the equation. So we have the roots of the equation to be 1 over 3 or 0 0.33 and x2 to be minus 2. So that is for this question 1. It's as simple as that. Now let's go to question 2, which is cubic polynomial equation. So to do that, just press exit. Press exit again. Now let's go to degree of theory, which is cubic polynomial equation. So you press F2 for it. Now we are now in cubic polynomial equation. All right now. Let's impute their respective coefficients. Okay. Now for a, our a is 2s cubed. So the coefficient of 2s cubed here is what? 2. Press the cubes. Okay. Now the our b is 9x square. So the coefficient of 9x square here is what? 9. It's as simple as that, guys. Press the cubes. Okay. Our c here is 13x. The coefficient of 13, x here is what 13. Okay? Then, the constant here is what 6. Which is our d. We press 6. And that's all. Now, let's press the code to begin to get the roots of this equation. Okay, so these are the respective roots of the equation. We have it to be minus 1, minus 1.5 or minus 2 over 2 and x3 to be minus 2. So it's as simple as that guys, making progress. Now we are done with this quadratic polynomial equation and cubic polynomial equation. Now let's go to system of equation or simultaneous polynomial equations. Okay, so for question theory, let's press a z. Then we press F1 for simultaneous polynomial equation. Press F1. Okay, now we are asked to choose the number of unknowns. Right, so this question three, this is a system of equation with two unknowns or two variables x and y. So we're going to go for f1 here for two variables. Now let's impute the coefficients of these variables here and the constant respectively. So we're going to impute for equation one. We have the coefficient of two x here. Remember we're solving question three. So coefficient of two x there is what two. All right. Now, coefficient of y here is what one. Okay. Now the constant, which is seven, you put seven here. Okay. So for equation two, we have the coefficient of three x here is what three. Coefficient of minus two y here is what minus two. It's as simple as that, guys. And the constant is still was 7. So this is for this simultaneous polynomial equation with two variables of unknown. Okay, so that's all. Let's press report to now is equal to get the values x and y respectively. Okay, so when our x is 3, our y is what 1. It's as simple as that, guys. Alright, so let's go to paste on 4 system of equation or simultaneous polynomial equation with three variables or three unknown so let's press exit okay right now we're going to select three number of unknowns which is f2 for it all right so let's begin to impute the respective coefficients of this system of equations and their constants Okay, so for equation 1, under question 4, the coefficient of x here is 1. Okay, coefficient of y here is what? Still 1. Then coefficient of 2z here is what? 2. Okay, then the constant here is what? 6. Then for equation 2, the coefficient of 3x here is what? 3. Coefficient of 2y here is what? 2. Coefficient of 4, z here is what 4, and the constant is what 9. Very simple. Now, the coefficient of 2x here under equation 3 is what 2. Okay, coefficient of 3y is what 3, and 
coefficient of minus six z is what minus six. Always recognize the sign, guys. Very important. And last, we have the constant here to be three. And that's all. Let's place is a good now to get our variables respectively x, y, and z. Press is a good button. So we have our x to be minus 3, our y to be 6, and our z to be 1.5 or 3 by 2. It's as simple as that, guys. We're making progress. Lastly, let's stop with T on 5. Let me screw up. So this is simultaneous polynomial equation with four variables or four unknowns. Okay? Let's press is it. Is it right now? Let's go for four unknowns, which is F3. Okay. For this system of equation, let's begin with equation one. The coefficient of two x there is what two. Then coefficient of two y there is what two. Alright, coefficient of minus z is what minus one. And coefficient of t there is what one. Okay, and uh, we have the constant we have four. All right, now coefficient of four equation two coefficient of four x is what four. Okay, coefficient of three y is what three. Coefficient of minus z is still what minus one. Okay, coefficient of two t is what two, and uh, the constant we have it to be six. Very simple, guys. Now, for equation, okay, coefficient of 8x there is what 8. Coefficient of 5y is what 5. Coefficient of minus 3z is what minus 3. Okay? Then, coefficient of 4t there is what 4. And we have the constant to be 12. And for the last equation, the coefficient of 3 this x there is what 3. Coefficient of 3y is what 3. Coefficient of minus 2z there is what minus 2. We have coefficient of 2t there is what 2. And the constant is what 6. Okay. Now let's press equal to begin to get the variables respectively for this system of equation or simultaneous polynomial equation. Let's press the quick. Alright, so we're happy to be for x my, to be 1, y to be 1. We have that of z to be minus 1 and that of t to be minus 1. It's as simple as that, guys. So this is basically how you can solve problems involving polynomial equation with a scientific calculator or system of equations with a scientific calculator and also solve problems involving quadratic polynomial equations and cubic polynomial equations with the Casio calculator, particularly with this Casio FACG50 calculator. Hope you learned something interesting from this video. If you are new to the channel, share the subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel. More videos like this, if you like, share and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel from what you have learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask, feel free to be a question in the comment section below and I will be sure to give you a response. That's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching. Now, don't forget to reset the calculator once you are done solving. All you have to do is to press the Z button. Okay? Then, uh, press menu. Then, go to system. Okay? Press is equipped. Then, reset F5. F6. Next page. Initialize or F2, then F1. And to begin to initialize or that's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my subsequent video. Okay? It's done. Is it? Yeah.